Welcome back, Bacon Bit Squad. This is your girl, Naja, and I am the head bacon in charge of the Bacon Bit Squad. Today, we are going to be looking at the recap of how I did as far as my investing plan for the month of August. So if that is something that you are definitely interested in, as you have been following me along on this journey for well over a year, probably two years now, go ahead and make sure your all notification bell is on those of you all that are already here as well as if you are new to the channel make sure that you go ahead and subscribe if this is content that you are feeling and that you want to learn more and just see what somebody else's portfolio is doing August was a good month. This was the first month after I was able to max out my Roth IRA, which I did last month in July. Um, I shared that on Instagram as well as I shared that in my July monthly recap video talking about how things progressed and where I was at as far as my July investing. So for the month of August, I really wanted to focus in a little bit more on my bridge account as well as my kids UTMA account. So let's go ahead and look at the breakdown for this. The bridge account, I was able to contribute $200 to that. As of the recording of this day, I have to go ahead and invest it in VTI because that is primarily what I am investing my bridge account into. I will have to pay taxes on it when I do decide to take the money out, whenever that may be. My goal is to get to $50,000 for my bridge account. What, do I think that's going to be enough? I'm not sure, but that's a good starting point. You know, obviously we're going to go with 5,000, 10,000, 15, 20, 25, you know, and go from there up until $50,000. And I do document that journey on my channel. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe if you have not already done so, where I talk about a bridge account and exactly what that is for me. If you don't know what a bridge account is, I did a video that talked about it and described it, I will make sure that I put it in the pinned comment for you guys. Next for Robinhood, where I have a large portion of ETFs and different stocks, I contributed $350. Normally what I'll do is if I see that I have a stock or an ETF that is getting pretty close to being like one share because Ultimately, I want to get everything to one share and then build from there. What I'll do is I'll put a little bit extra money into that share from the $350 just to go ahead and boost it up to that. Last month, I was able to go ahead and finally get one share of Tesla, which I was pretty happy about. This year, this year, <laughs> this month for August, I wasn't close to getting one share to anything, but again, just steady building up and dollar cost averaging, putting in what I can, when I can. So normally what I what I do is if I'm not really close, I'll go ahead and just however many stocks ETFs there are, I'll go ahead and divide that by the amount that I'm putting in and then everything just gets an equal amount. Now that's how I do it. I'm not providing you with any type of financial advice. Please make sure that you go ahead and do your own due diligence with doing your own research, but I'm just sharing how I do it as far as my financial journey, okay? Because I'm not affiliated with any investment company or firm as far as investing, but I do want to share with you guys how I'm actually investing. So I was able to go ahead and do that, $350 there. The UTMA accounts, which are for my boys, I contributed $150. That was $75 each. I do have additional money that I need to go ahead and contribute for them. Their uncle is also active in contributing to their investment up my accounts and so whenever he gives me money for them I go ahead and add it to their accounts as well. Uh, currently my boys up my accounts they are in my youngest has McDonald's and Tesla and then my oldest has Microsoft and Tesla. Then we have my HSA account which I opened up this month and that was one or last month it was one hundred dollars that I contributed to the HSA account for this month, which I was really, really happy about. I haven't decided 
where the money is going to be invested just yet so it's right now it's just sitting in the hsa do have another hsa for the family as well and that seems to be doing pretty good but i think that it's about to be drained because i have like i had like four or five medical bills that just came in over the month of august from back in june and july actually one of one of the bills was from may when i had to go to urgent care and although I did pay a portion when I went to urgent care, same thing with my eye appointment, I received a bill saying that I didn't pay enough. So I know for sure that's going to be about six, $700 that's coming out of the HSA that we already have. This was just an extra one or an additional one that I opened up. For Vanguard, I did open up an additional brokerage account because I do want to add to it for stag adc as well as o realty and those are commercial uh, manufacturing real estate that i'm investing in and they do pay a monthly dividend i want to make sure that i am building those up i have them in my roth and traditional ira but because i've already maxed out my roth i can't add any more money into that until january 2025 so because i still want to reap the benefits of getting those dividends every single month i did open up a separate brokerage account to go ahead and get that as well the ones that i am investing in pre and after tax fundrise robin hood fidelity vanguard and trs the trs i have not listed on here that's my teacher retirement system account money automatically is pulled out from that account each month based on the amount of my check and so I can't add anything to it. I actually don't even know what the money is invested in because there's no record of it online. All I know is that one time a year, probably around September time frame, is when one chunk of money gets added to it, which is like 2% of the balance. So yeah, it's not that great, but it is something, another avenue for retirement. So total, the amount that I contributed to all of these accounts right here was $1,100. Now, I didn't put the money affirmation, but if you guys have been here for quite some time, you know that my money affirmation is, or just the affirmation in general is, it's never, it's never if, it's always when, okay? Never if, always when. So I try not to speak, well, if it, if this happens, if you know, if I can do this, I always try to look at the positive and just move forward and say when this happens as though I'm already speaking it into existence and things will come together and I won't even have to worry about it. What I'm reading, watching, listening to. So I did finish up my book, Private Number One Suspect by James Patterson, and I actually moved on to a new book by James Patterson and Mark Sullivan that was private games. Ironically, it was, or it's based during the Olympics. <laughs> so I thought that was actually kind of cool, but I'm really enjoying this book. I'm probably about halfway through it right now. And so I anticipate for the month of September, I will be getting another book from the library, which I have really been enjoying doing. So yes, this is what happened for the month of August and how I ended up coming out. I was able to make and meet all of the goals that I set for myself, which I'm really happy about and looking forward to the rest of the year and being able to contribute and see how much my account grows from here. If you happen to enjoy this video, guys, please make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up as well as leave me a comment below. I really appreciate your comments and as well as just the interaction with you guys. I know I haven't been able to interact, interact with you guys as much now because school has started back up and it's always just really busy like the first two or three months of school until things actually settle down. But I do appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me, still watching my videos, still commenting on them. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Until the next video, bye.